He's out of sight, but not out of mind for one Sheboygan household. A 20 year old is accused of a terrible act against his own family. Jeremy Ross with tonight's Wisconsin. <laughs> Artful and agonizing. Primal and permanent. The tattoos remain the same. Meticulous markings, patterns of pigment and dyes, skin in disguise. Oscar has a lot of tattoos on his body. But it's these markings U.S. Marshals are looking for. One of them covers basically his whole back. The ink linked to a fugitive named Oscar Lemus. Oscar allegedly uh, sexually assaulted on more than one occasion a young family member who was under the age of 12. Detective Paul Olson of the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force says the crimes happened about two years ago, but were only reported to law enforcement in September. He has no conscience. But before law enforcement could arrest the 20-year-old at his home near 10th and Georgia, Oscar learned that the police were going to be notified and he fled. Marshals say Lemus is not a U.S. citizen, has no social security number, and because of that, there is no paper trail to follow. And when he left Sheboygan, it's as if he vanished. It's basically like we're chasing a ghost right now. But his unique tattoos can still be seen. On his right arm, there's a large piece of spades. Almost looks like there's some flames coming up off the top of it. In the center of his back is a large tattoo of a dove with some designs underneath it. He also has his name in Old English lettering Oscar across the top of his back. Identity etched in ink. Even if he says he's someone else, the tattoos aren't going to lie. An expression of art, Marshalls. Hope you'll appreciate enough to call them about. It could be critical in his apprehension. He's racked up frequent flyer miles, jetted off to faraway places. Mr. England is a man of resources. But 60-year-old Mark England has carried some legal baggage on his journey. Mr. England has fled um, from justice on a number of occasions and has been located in Canada, New Zealand, as well as Switzerland. His troublesome travels began while he was divorced with joint custody of his son. England was supposed to take his child to Colorado, but instead crossed the border to Canada. He was arrested and returned to Milwaukee, where a jury convicted him of interference with custody. Marshalls say it's a verdict that would turn into a voicemail vendetta. This is Mark England speaking. Years after the decision, England demanded a Milwaukee County judge review information he called hidden for years. That evidence has to make its way to you, and then I expect you to act. If you do not act, this is going to spill over into personal areas, and that includes your family. What I want you to do is commiserate with the district attorney and fix this case. And if you do not, I will harm you. He appears to be um, obsessed with the fact that several people conspired against him to prevent him from receiving justice. Kevin Carr, U.S. Marshal for the Eastern District of Wisconsin, says England also launched a smear campaign against his own attorney and continues to lob threats from Switzerland where it's very unlikely he'll be surrendered to U.S. law enforcement. He has been in constant contact threatening a number of these victims by telephone. Some call the 60-year-old globetrotter resourceful, brilliant, and rich. Marshalls say a millionaire with enough cash back up his calls. By train or plane. Marshalls want England's passport on pause. We will bring him to justice. Jeremy Ross, Fox 6 News. Most albums spin at 33 or 44 revolutions per minute. His record has been all over the place. But law enforcement says one Milwaukee man's circled his way around the justice system. He's a danger to the community. 43-year-old Richard Bostwick's criminal record sounds like a variety LP. Bostwick has been uh, convicted of everything from narcotics to um, burglary, robbery. Uh, theft. But most concerning for Deputy U.S. Marshal Gary Enos is a crime Bostwick committed against a teen. Second degree sexual assault child is a child between the ages of 13 and 16. Um, absolutely, he is a predator. U.S. Marshals, open the door now! During a sex offender sweep a few months ago, law enforcement discovered he wasn't living at the north side home he's registered at. <laughs> Meaning more than a scratch on his record, it's a violation of his parole. 
clearly running for some reason. He has this open warrant and he's going to continue to run. Marshal say Bostwick's trying to fool the system by collecting his mail, then signing and sending registry information back to the state, all while living somewhere he shouldn't be. He's most likely still on the north side. He's been seen riding a bicycle to and from uh, family and friends' houses. Now marshals are hoping with your help, we'll face the music. It's very important that we find him. A record law enforcement wants to put on permanent pause. Jeremy Ross, Fox 6 News. He's made some uh, substantial mistakes in his life so far. In the game of life. He's not checking in with his probation officer. One 20-year-old isn't playing by the rules. Mr. Konjerski has kind of gotten down the wrong path in life. A wrong way route. A burglary. Down a bad boulevard. Shoplifting, retail theft. His criminal career started when he was about 16 years old. Detective Phil Carini of the U.S. Marshals Task Force says about four years ago, Robert Konjerski committed a second degree sexual assault. Got himself involved in a, a consensual sexual relation uh, with an underage female. This year, when a lewd act was committed in Brookfield, Carini says Konjerski remains a suspect. He allegedly had a, has exposed himself to a, uh, some other minors. He's definitely showed a pattern that you know would give uh, law enforcement an alert. Now this 20-year-old. He has some eyeliner around his eye. Described as living the goth or emo lifestyle. A double piercing in his lip. He is living life on the run. And wanted. For failure to, to register as a sex offender. Marshals say Konjerski may be moving from house to house or place to place to avoid detection, but he has some noticeable tattoos, including one on his left forearm, reading... Female's name of Jesse, J-E-S-S-I-E. -S -S -E. He's also branded on his upper right arm. It's V-I-I, -I, or Roman numeral for the number seven. Whatever the path... We think, you know, he's hiding somewhere. Marshals know Konjerski will eventually come across law enforcement, adding... There's a way to make life much easier. The best thing that he could do is turn himself in.